Yo! What's good with y'all? Alright, back to the scary videos, you know what I'm saying? I'm mixing it up a little bit between the wrestling, the scary videos, the rap videos. I don't even know if I'm supposed to rap video yet. Anime videos, you know what I'm saying? I'm just doing stuff I would watch on my own time. Because these are the type of videos I'll watch if I was sitting here by myself. Just got done jerking off. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired. Drained of energy. I'll just throw this on or something. But, a serial killer calls a popular radio show. War on my mother's life, bro. I thought, a si when I was younger, I thought a serial killer was like... My image of a serial killer... No offense to my Caucasian folks, but it was like a white guy with short hair, a scrawny white guy with some work boots, some work jeans, and like a like a gray shirt. He had a beard. I was just thinking of him eating cereal. I have no idea why. No, no, I know where I got it from. It was my janitor at my my janitor at my elementary school. I pictured him eating a bowl of cereal when I thought a serial killer. Come on. I was a dumbass little jit. But let's read this up. Sometimes I ask them uh, if they think it's dangerous. Doing what they're doing, if they're worried about things, and they'll laugh it off, and that just pissed me off. Whatever that if means. They think it's dangerous doing what they're doing, if they're worried about things, and they'll laugh it off, and that. Just pisses me off. No idea what he said. Get him a translator. And then you go ahead and you kill him. Yeah. Well, that's harsh. Oh, this is on Howard Stern. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let's see. When was this? Yo! I just got hacked for 10 seconds by a. What was I saying? Howard Stern. Now, in 2000. 18, 2007, 2018, I would watch Beetlejuice, like, the entire hour episode. I watched all of them. I would just not stop watching it. I was obsessed with Beetlejuice, as weird as that sounds. But I also watched some other stuff. I don't know if I can say this word on here, but you know what I'm saying? There was a Ku Klux Klan member, and he was, like, arguing with other people. You know what I'm saying? He was saying some things on Howard Stern. I was like, whoa. I was like, that's how you know times are different. Because Robin wasn't even phased with him saying, you know what I'm saying, that. She wasn't even phased on she's black. I was like, dang. Times have changed. But, let's go. I'll narrate for you guys. The Howard Stern Show, 1986 to 2005. It was a popular radio show that was beloved for its dark humor and real hot takes. I wasn't done. And over the top segments. But on the morning of August 13th, 1997, listeners were left feeling disturbed when a man wanting to go by the clay admits to have, killing, have killed more than 12 prostitutes in that New Orleans area. Doubtful about the whole thing, Howard. Nigga. Y'all can go back and read that. He's been killing prostitutes and he's wondering why he's doing it. So maybe uh, he, he thinks I have an answer. Is this Ed? Ed? No, this isn't Ed. Oh. You haven't killed any prostitutes? No, I never said my name was Ed. Oh. oh. Sorry. That's okay. What's your what name do you use? You can call me Clay. Clay? Clay. Yes, Clay. Okay, Clay. So what happened? How many prostitutes have you killed? Twelve. And you're wondering why you do it? I have a pretty good idea. Why? Did your mom beat you? Did your mom spank you? Did they... Was your mom a prostitute? No. Actually, nothing like that. What is it then? I can't imagine getting I spanked I and then just causing me to right. kill prostitutes. Do you have sex with them first? Yes, and... And then what, you strangle them? Oh, this dude's sick. One. How much did you kill him? Well, a few times, actually, most times with a hammer. Hmm. And where do you do this primarily? Uh, I've done it twice in a parking garage. Well, how can you beat somebody with a hammer? On the side of the road. And uh, you're from the New Orleans area? Yeah. Hmm. And how, I mean, what do you, you beat them to death with a hammer? Uh, it usually only takes once, and it's 
Dude, you gotta have a lot One of shot. anger in you. Yeah. And that means you're harvested. You used to kill small animals? No, I killed a rat. Yeah. Dude, you're a serial killer. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, this and is like the most it, casual conversation. And, so far, nobody's... What? Is it Howard? Yeah. Hello? Hello? I didn't know this was Howard. Yeah, it's yeah, Howard. Of course. He yeah. got caught up. He knows people are listening. Yeah. No, I never killed a kitten. Hmm. So how old were, were you when you killed your first woman? Sixteen. And uh, you must be a powerful kind of guy, big guy. Uh, I wasn't then. Right. And uh, when you killed your first one, did you go in there knowing you were going to kill her, or it just sort of happened? I I knew. I I had I really had it planned out. Hmm. You know, I wanted to do the whole sending clues. Right. Oh yeah. Are you in? Oh, he thinks people, it's in a movie. Out, no one noticed for a long time. Right. Like what? Like you killed her on the side of the road. Uh. I heard that was the parking garage. Okay. And then what'd you do with the body? You dumped that somewhere? Um, yeah, actually. I think uh, she's probably one of the ones that they found. Yeah. Hey, right. let me ask you that. You were sending clues that you were going to do this? He you know, thinks he's the Riddler. He's not like Gotham. Yeah, he was going to leave like, a note for the newspapers and, you know. Uh, but you decided not to. Yeah, he didn't want to be famous or draw attention to himself. But my problem no, is... That's, could... that's what I wanted to do. But... Oh, but you did, but no one noticed the clue. See, why do serial killers, like... They want you to like play a game with them. Like they want you to find them, but like not that fast. They want to like like a cat and mouse chase game. I never understood that. I guess that's how they have fun, though. But, I don't know. I no, I never sent the clues. I never mm. left anything. You know, I wanted to have my little signature. Right. I wanted the thumb paint. Oh, it's with thumb. Uh, oh, really? What do you want to do? Thumb paint with their thumb. Thumb paint what though? I don't know. Oh, anything. It, it was in a comic book a couple of years ago. It just seemed like a good idea. Like you uh, take a girl, you, you comic book. thumbs and paint, and then you do like a thumb painting? Yeah. On a piece of paper? Yeah. Hmm. Now, when you after you kill somebody, do you play with the body? Um, actually, the closest I've ever done to that is I always make sure I pay them, and I make sure they keep their money. Oh, Ain't really. no way. When they're still alive, but uh, with one of them, I did put the money in a compromising place. I see. But that was, this one, you know, it, it had a penis. Oh. oh. It was a guy. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know at first. So do you, do you ever get, not know. do you think the reason you're so angry is because you were abused or something? No, I wasn't abused, Howard. Hmm. Where's your family? He's just mad. You got a wife? I mean, you got a mom, mad. a wife, children, you got any of that? Are you mad? I've got a couple of kids, but um, I no wife. You got kids and mm-hmm. you're a white guy. Have a Dexter lifestyle. Oh uh, yeah, or that's pretty funny because the only suspects they had when they started finding the bodies of the black police officers. Get the heck out of here! Suspecting a black officer fighting fighting crime. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't <laughs> rock with that. Turns out one of them uh, was associated with them. Oh, really? Uh, are you on drugs? Uh, I've done acid a few times. Mm. So, so, but nothing heavy. So after you killed, after you killed the first sixty-year-old, don't like, do uh, drugs, y'all. You, you finish. You, you finish. Stay sober-minded. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. You are. Stay, uh, so you finish no, with your uh, sexual gratification. Yeah. And then you. Not always, no. Not always. You don't even want to get laid sometimes. No, I just. You just want to kill. Uh, I'm just bored. Right. But does the killing sexually satisfy you in some way? I can't believe that McMahon's not lying. I've eaten off thinking about it later. Yeah. What do you say? That's he- what the? <laughs> Ain't no way. I just heard what I just heard. Are you reading this with me? I've I've beaten off thinking about it later. Uh, Ew. 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 Disgusting. Yeah. What do you say? He's, about he's it. pleasured himself thinking about it later. Oh, he has. Okay. Now, how far apart are these murders? Like, do you murder and then like you feel satisfied for a while? Um. Well, this has to be the most. 
casual conversation. I don't even understand why I do it, Howard. I don't know if I ever get any satisfaction. Hmm. But how, how often? The together anywhere was uh, the same night. Really? You killed two people in the same night? Yeah, but I went to Mississippi for the second one. Hmm. Hmm. So there's no pattern to how many weeks or days between murders? No. Just how do you feel like killing a black chick? Uh, it's a fair, fair number of them have been black. The uh, transvestite was black. Do you think there's some racial motivation here? No, Howard. They were just, uh, let's just say, in Jimmy Swagger Town. Mm -hmm. What the heck was that? Jimmy mean? Swagger Town. I don't know what that means. I mean, either, but... uh, that's, that's pretty much the area around here where the prostitutes all hang out. Yeah. I see. And it's just whoever comes up to you. You don't pick a certain type. I don't even approach them. I wait for them to approach me, Robin. And do you ever like them asking for it? Do you ever like look into their eyes and go, you know, gee, these these people were just children at one point, and maybe they just had a tough life? I let a couple go. Yeah. Like what happened? You're in the middle of killing them, and then they, and then they, what do they say? Why would you let one go uh, and kill the other? There was this one. Go ahead. Uh, I think she was probably really new to it. Yeah. He felt sympathy for her. I, there was just something about her. Maybe she reminded me of my fiance, but right. You somehow relate more, more of an innocent quality. I just you yeah. somehow felt bad for her. Yeah. Hmm. You so okay. So you killed your first woman. When was the last time you killed? Uh, it, it's been a few months. Right. Actually, it's, it's been going on a year. Hmm. So what do you think you're going to do? You think you're going to kill yourself? Do you think that uh, you think are you going to kill again? Can you stop uh, this? I killed myself. I missed the next Batman movie. Right. You don't want to do that. No. No, but in all seriousness, I mean, do you think that uh, you can control this? Well, you better not be talking about that. Do you think it's old I Batman? Batman. Oh, you have been for the last couple of months. A year he has killed. Blue, blue, blue suit yeah. Batman yeah. that weekend. So why do you think he stopped killing all of a sudden? I'm not going to lie. The best Batman is... I really don't know, Howard. I just... Dark Knight. Part of it had to do with my car broke down. You're probably a Dark Knight. Uh, what else was good? Seriously? That's yeah. the reason? Well, that was the reason for a month, but after I like that, Dark Knight I guess Rises it was all self-control. Wow. I like the new Batman, too. Well, you don't want to do this anymore. Well, he wants to do but it, the best one, probably himself. Dark Knight with the Joker. But you want to kill women, right? Well, speaking of Joker, sure. I watched the Joker movie, like, t t over five times. Like, amazing movie. I know this has nothing to do with the video, but... I just love the movie. Yeah. And what? And do you like it? Do you enjoy seeing them struggle as you kill them? Uh, actually, none of them really struggle. Hmm. Do you hit them from behind, or do they see it coming? Uh, I can't get inside their minds, but uh, it's just I hit them. But I mean, are you facing them? I yawned about thirty yeah. times. Unless you can see their face and everything when you do it. Yeah, yeah. The, the worst I've ever gotten was um. One tried to grab my neck. I've never gotten any of the claw marks or anything that are, uh, dead giveaways. Right, you must be very powerful. This guy's a weirdo. I wouldn't call myself powerful. Maybe, uh, intimidating. Intimidate me. You think you... Uh, because it was in a book I read. No. Oh, everything comes from a cartoon. Yeah. yeah. When's the last time you got laid? Uh, last never. Week, oh, yeah, so you didn't kill that girl? No. Because she wasn't a hooker. No. Right. It's only hookers, though. Why do you have such a strong hatred no towards... Easy. Probably won't get caught in V. They have some sexual... Kind of so there's no way I'm going to talk into getting yourself up or anything, right? Intercourse workers. Sexually no. intercourse workers. I shouldn't workers. even waste my time. I don't want to get calls after this. People are going to go, Howard, how can we even catch him? I don't know. Has anybody ever been close to catching yeah, him? Yeah, I was thinking that. Like, you think they're like, on no. the phone with the police or something? No, too? actually, someone... Once, when it was in the newspaper, someone joked to me. Yeah, I know it was you, but, uh... Well, they were joking. Right. What really you know what tattoos? Uh, I don't have any tattoos. Oh, that just reminded me, bro. I keep getting so off track. But that, oh, I know it was you. That reminded me of Breaking Bad. I remember when um, Uncle Hank was like, uh, it was like to WW, he was like Walter White. And then Walter was like, ah, oh, you got me. But little did you know it was actually him. That's what that just reminded me of. That's crazy. But, uh, well, they were joking. Right. Do you have a lot of tattoos? Walter White. Uh, I don't have any tattoos. Walt I wouldn't Whitney. do that to myself. Right. And do you get high before hey, you do Hey, do what? Uh, I've gotten pretty drunk before. Yeah. I'm the only guy you can... Am I, am I the only guy you ever told about this? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Wow. Why is he, like, telling yeah, everything he's done? I told a couple of women, Howard. On the radio. You're dead. Yeah. Do you tell him first, and then you kill him? Uh, yeah. What do you say to him? Let me hit on. All right, let's see. Now and then you can play the running game if you're out in the middle of nowhere. We got a lot of the middle of nowhere down here. Right. Ain't nowhere. 
So, in other words, let's say you're with a woman, right? Well, uh, they sound like best friends yeah, or, talking. And you say to her, uh, okay, honey, uh, you know, you just had sex and everything. What do you say to her? It's a tormentor. How do you break the news to her that she's going to die? I. It really depends on my uh, mood. Just give us an example. Well, if I wanted to, I could just say Baba Booey, but that would be pretty, uh... Come on, come on, be serious. What do you say to him? I, I can say you're going to die. And then what do they do? I like to articulate a little more than that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I ask them uh, if they think it's dangerous doing what they're doing, if they're worried about things, and they'll laugh it off, and that just pisses me off. Oh... Right. That's what the beginning was. Sometimes I ask them if they think it's dangerous doing what they're doing. If they're worried about things and they'll laugh it off. Wait, so... You ask them if they think it's dangerous when you're the danger because you're going to kill them. It wouldn't be dangerous if there wasn't freaks like you. Nigga, what? And they'll laugh it off and that just pisses me off. Right. And then you go ahead. I'm not gonna lie. Who can you really blame though? Like, like you know what these girls are doing, but they're doing what they're doing because you're paying them to do what they do. So whose fault is it really? Like, you know what I'm saying? Kind of both, but. How did you kill him? I don't know, man. Yeah. Hmm. Huh? Imagine how down bad you have to be. Nigga. Nigga, it's not that hard to talk to a woman. Well, there you go. Pay him. <laughs> the day after the FBI contacted Howard. Dang. So Howard didn't even tell nobody. He just let them ask him. No further mention of the call and brought up. Bro, imagine they were there just trying to listen to Beetlejuice spell or something. And then this guy just calls and talking about how many people he's killed. There are only a handful of internet forums. Oh, what did I just if click? You shop on Amazon. I don't know what I. What the heck is that? I'm not trying to get cursed. I did not mean to click that. I'm not watching that. That looks terrifying. But that was a good video. Dang. Guys, real sick. You know what I'm saying? But like stuff like that, it doesn't even really like. Make me like, oh my gosh, he did what? Cause like, the stuff that people do is like, I'm getting desensitized to it. Cause like, crazy stuff happens like this all the time. It's just like, dang. It's just crazy, man. It's not right, but, you know what I'm saying? People are just crazy. But you know what to do. Make sure you like, share. Oh, and rest in peace to all the victims that that weirdo killed. Hopefully the families are good. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll catch y'all later.